Hi everyone, welcome back to VR Finesse. Today we have the Acer Nitro 5, model number AN5-15-55. This version comes with the Intel i7 10th generation processor, which has a processor speed of 2.6 GHz. The GPU is a 1660 Ti with 6 GB of dedicated memory dedicated to the GPU. It has a 15.6 inch LCD screen with 1920 by 1080 full HD resolution. This laptop also comes with 8 GB of pre-installed DDR4 SD RAM and has a solid state hard drive with a capacity of 512 GB. Starting from the left of the Acer Nitro 5, we have a Kissington lock slot, a ventilation and cooling fan, an Ethernet RJ45 port to connect your Ethernet cable, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 port, and another USB 3.2 Gen 2 port. On the right side of the Acer Nitro 5, we have a ventilation and cooling fan, HDMI port, USB 3.2 Gen 2 port, and a USB 3.2 Type-C port with data transfer speeds of up to 10 gigabytes per second. At the back of the Acer Nitro 5, we have two ventilation and cooling fans, one for the GPU and one for the CPU, and an AC in for the power adapter. The battery is a lithium battery, delivering 3,560 milliamps per hour, and has a maximum battery runtime of eight hours. The Acer Nitro 5 comes with Windows 10 pre-installed. As I mentioned, the display is a 15.6 inch LCD screen with 1920 by 1080 full HD resolution. Here's how it looks. Also pre-installed is NitroSense. NitroSense is software that allows you to monitor your CPU and GPU temperatures, as well as adjust your fan speeds. You can launch NitroSense by pressing the NitroSense key on the keyboard, by pressing the NitroSense icon on the taskbar, or by searching for NitroSense using the search bar. In the top section, we have Fans Control. This lets you control the fan speeds. By default, the fan speeds are set to auto. Cool boost will increase your fan speeds when needed. Max increases the fan speed constantly. And custom lets you set your preferred fan speeds. Just turn off the auto feature for the GPU or the CPU and adjust the sliders to set your preferred speed. Moving down, we have power plan. This lets you optimize battery life and performance and you can choose to do this whether you're running on battery life or AC power. The monitoring section allows you to view temperatures for the GPU and CPU. Now let's move on to Acer True Harmony. Acer True Harmony allows you to set the default sound profile that you want your computer to use. You can only choose presets for this and there's no customization here. You'll get the best sound quality experience by connecting external speaker monitors and when using your headset. But listening through the laptop speakers, the audio here is pretty good. NitroSense also has a light settings feature. This allows you to customize and control the LEDs for your keyboard. You can choose to light up individual sections of the keyboard and use different light setting modes. By default, these are turned on. However, when I'm gaming using a VR headset, I turn all lights off. This can help to keep your laptop temperatures cooler as LEDs produce heat. Here's an example of what you can do with the light settings in NitroSense. There's also a GeForce Experience tab. This will open up the browser and direct you to the NVIDIA website. Here you can find the latest drivers for your graphics card and additional features for recording, streaming and game optimization. Also pre-installed is Acer Care. 
Acer Care helps to keep your computer running smoothly. Just type Care Center into the search bar to find it. Once opened, you'll get up-to-date driver and software information along with maintenance support. You can also check system information and give your PC a tune-up for better performance. The Acer Nitro 5 also has Wi-Fi 6, wireless LAN standard 802.11 AX. This was an added bonus for being able to play PC VR games wirelessly from this laptop, as VR headsets require quick data transmission from the laptop to the headset to play games in real time. Wi-Fi 6 coupled with an AX dedicated router allows you to do this effectively. Overall, the Acer Nitro 5 is a good laptop, at least for my first gaming laptop, and it's VR ready. I would recommend this laptop for gamers who want to start gaming using PC VR with the Oculus Quest, and I'm sure it holds up well with regular PC VR games. Thanks for watching, this is VR Finesse, and let me know in the comment section if you want to know anything about this laptop or setting up the Acer Nitro 5 as a PC VR gaming laptop. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and look out for more gaming videos with this Acer Nitro 5.